Yes, people, what's good and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to go over my take on solidity versus specific gravity when testing your water in your reef aquarium. Right, so guys, I test my water in two ways. Before, I used to use one of these bad boys, a refractometer, to test my uh, specific gravity, but I've realized that this was really dependent on the temperature of the water. Now, I'll break it down for you, the difference between salinity and specific gravity. So it says here, salinity is a true measurement of salt in ocean water, i.e. tank water, and it can be described as the weight of dry salt in a thousand weight units of water. So that's what we get the PPT from. Okay, and this is inf this is not influenced by temperature, and natural seawater is about 35 parts per thousand. Yeah, now specific gravity, on the other hand, is measured in relative density of tank water or seawater, with a ratio of that tank water against the same volume of pure water. All right, guys. So let's talk about specific gravity. So specific gravity is greatly affected by temperature. Now let's let's go through this in slow time. Most people will be using one of these in the hobby and it's called a refractometer. Now the way a refractometer works is that you place a sample of water on this bit here and you shut the top screen. Now this is uh, placed towards a source of light, uh, the sun or for a window or for anything and you can actually get those with little LEDs um, located in there so you don't have to view that. But this is how it usually works. So once you place your sample of water on here, close the flap, uh, point towards a sort of uh, source of light, and then you look through um, the little uh, viewfinder here and you will see that um, you will get a reading. Now, this is where I, I think uh, this hobby is just amazing. Once I've done this research, I realize, oh crap, specific gravity is greatly affected by temperature. And like, I proved this to myself. So I had a bucket of uh, RDI water set to the side, I've done my salt, and I was like, okay, yeah, it's at um, my specific gravity is 1.025, good to go, yeah. Um, but then I was watching another YouTube channel and it said that you need to heat it up to what temperature you want so you don't shock your fish or your coral. So I was like, okay, cool, let's do that. When I tested it again, it was at 1.023. So I was like, hold on, what is going on here? So I added more salt to bring it up and it was a constant thing that was going on. I wanted something that's a bit more constant, a bit more reliable. So what I started doing, I started using one of these bad boys. Now this is from Hannah. I haven't been paid by Hannah for this. I just love Hannah. And it measures the PPT of salt in my water. And like we said, PPT is the amount of dry salt in a given volume of water, i.e. your tank water. And I keep my PPT at 35, right? And 35, um, from what I've been reading, is the natural level for seawater. Yeah, so this is actually mimicking seawater um, in my system just by measuring this. Now, which one's better? It all depends on your mythology or the way you apply your knowledge to this hobby. Me, I like something straightforward and because I've got a, an apex and my apex, uh, I've got a salinity probe on there anyway. And I can use this in tandem with this one here just to see where my PPT sits. This one here, just be aware of the refractometer that when you do measure your specific gravity, if you're aiming for 1.025, whatever you're aiming for, ensure that you have a temperature reading right next to it. So you know, okay, at temperature 25.5, my specific gravity is 1.026. What this does, it ensures that the new water that you're putting in, when you've measured it in specific gravity, there's no or there's not a great discrepancy when you put it into your reef system. So imagine that you have a graph and the graph is a flat line and the flat line represents um, where your, your reading is for your tank currently. Imagine there is a great dip or a great increase in that graph. You can see where the, the um, instability will sit and that's not a good thing. So guys, a little top tip for me, you can actually take the temperature element of specific gravity and use it in conjunction with the um, element of salinity. Now, the way you can do this is ensure that when you are mixing your um, new uh, or your fresh salt water, you ensure that the temperature, yeah, is exactly where you need it to be that complements the existing temperature in your reef aquarium. So if your reef aquarium sits at 26 degrees, ensure you are close enough to that for your new salt water. Now, when you measure your salinity, 
if your reef aquarium is at 35 ppt which is natural seawater anyway ensure that the salt water that you are mixing is at 35 ppt as well so then you are changing like for like that way yeah makes sense cool all right guys that's the end of the video thanks for watching don't forget to like share subscribe this is narayan for HG aquatics reefing i'll see you next time